guys, James Carter TV here to recap the AFC Championship game between the Denver Broncos and the New England Patriots. But before I begin that, if you're new to my channel, make sure to click right up there in that corner to subscribe for more videos. And also make sure to follow me on Twitter at James Carter TV. That is down there. So, let's get into it. Now, for the second straight week, I said, you know what, Payne Man is going to choke. And, and he proved me wrong again. Yes, once again, I was wrong on Payne Manning choking. But, but, he did not show me enough for me to not do it again next week. Because you know what? To me, that he didn't, he didn't really convince me that this is it. They're winning, that they're gonna beat the Seahawks or the Niners. No. They did not convince me of that, okay? The, the fact of the matter is this. The Denver Broncos, did they play a good game? Yes. Did they play a great game? No. They could not score in the red zone. Uh, they got about, what, like four or five field goals today? I think it was four field goals, two touchdowns. That's not enough to beat Seattle. That's not enough to beat San Francisco in the Super Bowl. But this game, Peyton Manning had 400 yards. Um, I mean, uh, that that's good for him. Demarius Thomas had a good game. Julius Thomas was a mismatch. Him matched up against Devin McCourty. Uh, Tom Brady and the Patriots offense could not get anything going throughout the first part of the game. And that was ultimately their downfall. Uh, you know, you, you can, you, yeah, last time you came back, and that's great. But you need to at least get at least 10 points in the first half. I mean, they, they couldn't even do that. Um, you know, they ran the ball so successfully last week, couldn't do it this week. Well, Gary Blunt was invisible today. Where did, where did he go? I don't know. Uh, maybe he's, you know, next to Giselle. Uh, I don't know where like, Gary Blunt was this game. Um, but it really just comes down to the Denver Broncos. And, and are they going to win next, uh, two weeks from today? And I say no. I mean, I, I did not see enough today for me to say, hey, they're going to put up points against the Seahawks defense. They're going to put up points against the 49ers defense. I did not see that because when Julius Thomas is matched up against Earl, Thomas, uh, he's not going to do anything. All right, Cam Chancellor and Earl Thomas, they're going to be a good matchup against Julius Thomas. Uh, and also, the, the wide receivers, I mean, Wes Welker, Demarius Thomas, it doesn't matter which one's being covered by Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman will knock him down. Probably Demarius Thomas on uh, Richard Sherman, and then Walter Thirdman on... Um, on West Welker, and I love those matchups uh, for me, because yeah, I'm picking the Seahawks, yeah, and, I, and I'm going a little far ahead, but I'm already picking the Seahawks to win the next game, we'll see if I'm right or wrong again, uh, but they didn't show enough for me, and I know that's going to get a lot of uh, controversy, that's going to start a lot of controversy, but the fact of the matter is, for me, uh, they did not show enough for me to say, you know what, they're winning the Super Bowl, I, I didn't see it, okay, now let's see what happens the next game, NFC Championship, Let's see what happens. Let's see if one of these teams can convince me. I think the winner will. I think whoever wins this game will convince me unless if they win the game ten or three to zero. Uh, and even if, even if they did win the game three to zero, that'd be impressive because hello, they held the other team to three or zero points. Uh, I think the NFC team is winning the championship this year. I, the Denver Broncos, they're not that great to me. Uh, you beat the Chargers by eight, uh, or whatever it was, seven, and now you beat the Patriots by eight. Those NFC teams, they're coming, and you better watch out, because they they know how to play some defense. They're not the Chargers defense, they're not the Patriots defense, they're great defenses, and we're going to see what happens. But yeah, I was wrong for this game. I'll admit, I thought Tom Brady in this Patriots offense was going to do more. Kembro Tompkins was uh, was I I inactive for this game, and obviously that hurt their offense. Uh, they got they have some work to do. Uh, they they have some work to do in this offseason, because they, they do have some nice pieces on defense, but... This offense, it's still not good enough. Julian Edelman, he can't be your best weapon. Jen Danny Amendola, this guy's invisible. He's actually playing. He's not injured, but Danny Amendola is invisible. Why? They need to figure that out. New England Patriots do leading into next season. If they want to get Brady one more championship because his window is closing, Peyton Manning's window is closing, and uh, you can't have all these opportunities and chances. Sooner or later, these opportunities and chances are going to be stripped away from you, and you won't be able to do anything about it. So until next time, James Carter TV, I'll see you all after the end of the championship game. I'm out. Peace.